So I'm gonna show you how I made this 100% real butter straight from cow's milk. So what I did first was I took a gallon of milk, let it sit in the fridge for two days. And then after two days were up, I took it out and skimmed the fat. There's a fat layer on top. Take a ladle, skim the milk off the top with the ladle and pour it into a different container. Let that container set for another day. Take it out of the fridge after a day's up and let it sit till it gets to room temperature. Then when it gets room temperature, you're gonna skim the top or the majority out, just leave a little bit in the bottom, which will contain some milk, and skim that with a ladle, and put that into your mixer. Can also shake this, but it's easier to use the mixer. And turn the mixer on and let that mix up, and then it'll go to like a whipped cream type texture. And then it'll turn into clumps. And when it turns into clumps, that's when you want to stop. Then when it's in clumps, you... And make sure you scrape the sides too. And when it's in clumps, you want to uh, take the clumps out, put them onto a rag, and then soak the rag with the butter in uh, ice cold water. And then you're going to take the leftover liquid, which would be buttermilk, put it back into your jar. You're going to use that to make buttermilk pancakes. You take the butter and you let it sit in that ice cold water for about 10, 15 minutes. Let it harden up. And then you're going to wash the butter. So you're just going to squeeze it and make sure you get all that buttermilk out of the butter. Enjoy it. So now we're going to test it. So I got my toast, I got my butter, and I got some cinnamon sugar. Make some cinnamon sugar toast, so I'm gonna unravel this butter. Me. Oh, hurt. Alright, so I got my chunk of butter in there. Alright, we need a little bit more butter. Alright, so I got my butter on there. Now we're gonna take some cinnamon sugar. Give it a nice light dusting so we can really taste that butter in action. <gasps> Tastes like really good butter. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you next time.